We're here at Totesuck Ferry Lock, uh, which is in the midst of a 14-day uh, maintenance outage, and uh, we, we refer to these maintenance outages as dewatering. Uh, right now, at this very moment, we also have work crews engaged in uh, maintenance outage or dewatering at Arthur B. Ormond Lock near Morton, Arkansas. We, we typically, about once a year, will dewater two locks, two of the 18 locks along the Bone Car Arkansas River Navigation System. Uh, somewhere between the Mississippi River and Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, the locks are performed by combining uh, personnel and equipment from the three Corps of Engineers and Marine Terminals on the navigation system, one at Pine Bluff, one at Russellville, one at South Salt, Oklahoma. Um, and uh, they, the, those maintenance crews will combine effort, in a combined effort, will dewater two locks simultaneously to minimize disruption to uh, commercial shippers. Typically, on, on each lock dewatering, uh, we'll have a, a, a crew of approximately 35 employees, and those crews will be composed of, uh, of employees from the three marine terminal. The purpose of the dewater is to do inspection and repair. Those are the guys doing the repair and the maintenance. We also have, uh, uh, especially early on in the dewatering process, lots of inspections from our engineering construction division, our engineers out of our district office. Uh, the associated equipment includes rubber seals, grease lines, air lines, and a cathodic protection system. What I've got here is part of that cathodic protection system. It's what we refer to as anodes. Uh, these are magnesium-based anodes, and basically what they do is protect the steel structure of the gate by sacrificing themselves uh, rather than the steel. Uh, they will lose electrons over a period of time uh, as part of a, a corrosion, corrosion uh, uh, process and the magnesium will lose material as opposed to the gate losing material. This is what they look like new and this is what we'll be going back with on these gates. This is a picture or this is an example of one that they're pulling off uh, that's been in the water probably about 15 years and you can see over a period of time it's deteriorated and, and uh, and once it deteriorates to a certain point, it, it stops its effectiveness. In order to uh, dewater the lock, the, the process uh, for dewatering the lock is the temporary closure structures are set on either end of the lock outside of the gates uh, to hold back the water. And, uh, and those are set using our large, large mounted cranes. Uh, once the temporary closure structure is set, temporary pumps are used to pull the water out of the lock chamber below the bottom of the gate so that they can be properly inspected and, and repaired. Once uh, at the end of the scheduled 14 day closure uh, and the maintenance work is complete, the closure structures will be pulled using those same floating uh, cranes and then uh, uh, the lock chamber reflooded and reopened to commercial traffic.